Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a soft glam iridescent Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you guys. I created this really fun pink toned makeup look for you guys. So if you're interested in knowing how to achieve this beautiful glowy Valentine's Day makeup look and if you're interested in knowing what products I use today, then make sure to keep on watching. Now before we jump into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started with skin prep. The very first thing I wanna do is go in with my Merit Great Skin. I like to just take a few drops on my hand and then I'll just rub it in and then put it onto my face. This stuff is so good in the winter, you guys, because I get such dry skin and this just brings back all the moisture and glow that my face needs if you guys are interested in checking out this product for yourself i'll have a link down below in the description box for you guys to check out next up i'm going in with a lip oil this is the lottie london glossed smile brightener clear lip gloss oil this stuff is so good to just add quick moisture to the lips and this oil is so long lasting like you guys will see i'll have to end up wiping it away when i do my lips but i love this stuff for no makeup makeup days and and also for makeup days just to prep the lips going in with the skin ink supplement bar and this is just gonna help me help my pores a little bit I'm gonna concentrate this on my t-zone going in with my skin proud ice cooling eye serum stick I absolutely love this stuff you guys it's so nice and cooling under the eyes this stuff is so good you guys I love how it makes my under eyes feel and how it makes my under eyes look it adds super nice moisture and hydration oh I have a little eyelash next up I want to color correct the face and I'll be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector and this is in the shade medium 2 this is just going on areas where I have hyperpigmentation or acne scarring and it's just gonna help diffuse out those imperfections. Next up, we're gonna go in with foundation and I'll be going in with one of my favorites from the drugstore that I completely forgot about. And this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the shade Buff. This is a full coverage matte foundation and I absolutely love it. It's really good quality from the drugstore. All right, foundation is done. Next up, I want to contour the face and I'll be going in with the Huda Beauty Tan tour I always forget how pigmented this product is you guys so a little does go a long way some of my cream products aren't this pigmented so I'll have to go in with a lot of product but the tan tour my gosh you just dip into it and you get so much pigment just going to soften out the contour because I don't want it to look too intense just using my beauty sponge and whatever product is on there i'm using it to diffuse out the contour a little bit i'm gonna take a little bit on my nose as well and we'll do a little bit of like a nose contour like a reverse nose contour so i'm gonna put the bronzer now and then we'll use concealer later to carve out the nose Next up, I want to go in with some glowy blush on the face, and I can't think of a more perfect product for that, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is their Beauty Wand Blush in the shade Berry Radiant. I'm going to take the product on my sponge because that's just what I prefer, and then I'll blend it into the cheeks. I did recently do a review of this product, so if you're interested in checking that out, I'll have the video linked up here and also down below in the description. Such a beautiful glowy blush, you guys. Like, I can't get enough of this stuff. It's so beautiful. This stuff does dry relatively quickly, in my opinion, and it can get patchy, so you want to work in sections and you want to work relatively quickly. All right, the blush might look a little bit intense right now, but we're going to conceal the face and we're going to tone it down in just a second but I do want to pause from the face a little bit and just work on the eyes I'm just gonna start off by prepping them with some concealer this is my NARS radiant creamy concealer I'm just gonna blend this out and then we'll set them in place with the Huda Beauty setting powder 
For eyes, I want to jump into the Dominique Cosmetics Unconditional Palette. I feel like these are the perfect colors for a soft glam Valentine's Day makeup look. So I want to start off with this shade right here. The shade is called Warm Hearted and I'm just going to dust this onto my crease. I'm also just going to dust that outwards a little bit just to create a nice outer V and we'll use concealer to clean it up and make it nice and sharp afterwards. Alright, next up I want to go in with this beautiful shimmer. This is called Called love and light and I'm just gonna apply that onto my lids I'm just gonna go directly with my finger and I'm just gonna softly diffuse that onto the lids this is such a beautiful color Wow if you guys want to see a more heavy glam look with this palette I did do another tutorial with it I also did like a full review so if you guys want to check out that video I'll have it linked up here and also down below for you guys gonna take a quick break from the eyes I want to work on the face just to tone down the blush and just to conceal the face and brighten it up so I'm going in with my NARS radiant creamy concealer and I'm just applying this all over the face. I'm gonna blend this all out and then set it in place with the Huda Beauty setting powder. Using the concealer to also clean out the eyeshadow and make it nice and sharp. This is why I waited to do concealer until after the eyeshadow just so I can also clean up the eyeshadow. Whatever product is on my sponge, I'm also gonna work on cleaning out the cheeks. And then the reverse nose contour, of course, with the concealer on the nose afterwards. going to use my brush to dust away the setting powder because it's all done setting my face and then I'll also just take a little bit onto the cheeks just to set them I'm taking the shade warm hearted which is the pink shade and I'm just gonna dust that onto the outer portions of my lower lash line the very last thing I want to do with the eyes is add a little bit of brown mascara and I'll be going in with the essence lash without limits brown mascara this is a new mascara and I honestly have really been liking it I did do a full-on review of this product so make sure you guys check that out I'll have the video linked up here here and also down below so quickly pop this on off camera and then we'll move on to the next step all right eyes are done time to do my brows I'm just going in with the benefit gimme brow and I'm just going to brush out my brows with this all right I'm just gonna take off the lip oil because my lips are ready for lipstick now and they're nice and hydrated before I do my lips I do want to just highlight the face real quick and I want to jump in to my ace beauty glow essentials palette and I think I want to use the shade poppin poppin is super pretty because it has such a nice iridescent kind of finish to it and I just love that I think that's so fun Gonna also add some of this into the inner corners as well just to pop the eyes a little bit. All right, let's wrap up the look with lipstick. I'm starting off with my Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Chestnut. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I have a mini, it's so cute. So just to match the iridescent highlight on the face, I want to go in with this Instant Crush Lip Gloss. This is by the brand Half Caked. I did also recently do a review of this product, so make sure you guys check out that video. But this gloss is so beautiful, you guys. Like, look at that. It has such a beautiful iridescent glow. It has, like, lavender and purpley blue shades in there. And it's just so fun. So I think it'll look really nice with the highlight. Light, so I'm gonna pop this right on top and the very last thing I'm going to do is lock my face in place with the pixi makeup fixing mist and this is the rose water and green tea one all right you guys so that is pretty much it for today's Valentine's Day soft glam makeup tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it all of the products used today in the video will be listed down below in the description box so make sure you guys check that out and if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you guys that is pretty much it I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!